Next job involved then, after getting the cylinder squared up, um, machined up and squared up, I've marked everything out now to this to these dimensions and I'm just about to set it back up in lathe to bore the um, the hole where the piston goes. Um, I've got to machine this profile so it looks something like the casting would look. I'm over in my Harrison lathe now and I'm I've set the cylinders up, I've set the dia uh, the bore, the marking out of the bore where the bore the bore's gonna be. I've set that up true and I'm just about to put a pilot hole in followed by a big uh, a bigger drill and then I'm gonna bore it out to inch and a half diameter. Before I go any further the important part of this is is that this bore is exactly parallel to the to the mounting face and the port face where the ports are going to be so I've clocked this I've clocked these sides up and I'm uh, I'm drilling it out now and, and boring it out inch and a half diameter Just took my final cut up the bore and I think that's it now. Inch and a half diameter. I think I'll, uh, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put the other one in now and finish the other one off and uh, then move on to the next part. I've made a bit of a plug gauge up just to double check that you know everything's okay, that they're parallel and uh, to size at both ends etc. And my plug gauge is a, is a lovely fit. So I'm happy with my bore now and I'll, I'll make my pistons and my piston rings to suit that bore now. Uh, so the next step is to put this cosmetic shape on. When you buy the castings you've got this, this radius on and these tapers on two of the sides. So obviously you're not going to touch your frame where it's going to go onto your frame and you're not going to touch... Uh, with your valve chest going to see it on the top but I'll just point one thing out which could be easy, easily overlooked they are handed these cylinders a left hand and a right hand so um, when, when you start machining them and putting all holes in and everything and holes for frames make sure you've got them marked up for the off side and the near side cylinder. To save on material they also put a, a recess in this part. Well, I'm not bothered about that because all that happens on Sweet P or perhaps perhaps any loco is they put a brass plate over here to hide all that um, material that's been cast, not cast in uh, and probably they put some insulation in but I've marked it out to the tapers and the um, the radius and all I'm doing, because it's not a critical dimension I'm just eyeballing the line in my milling vise with a parallel block on and I'm just eyeballing that line up 
and then I'm just clocking it up uh, with lengthways in the vise because obviously your vise might just tilt it a little bit so you've just got to make sure you've not tilted it and, and my reading showing within plus or minus a thousandth and I'm going to fly cut all that material off turn it over so I'm fly cutting one side and I'm going to turn it over set that line up fly cut that side then I'll show you how I've got the radius in the milling machine when we get to that I'm going to turn it over now and do that face and I'm then uh, exactly the same eyeball it up with me uh, parallel and then we'll move on to radius and that face and I'm going to put this radius on now now if you've not got no special equipment like a dividing head or a, a rotary table this is another method you could do it the plug gauge I made to try into my bores I've put that plug gauge in and it sticks out probably well just to cover the vice the vice jaws and I'm pivoting that on the vice jaws and I'm going to take this bulk of this radius where, where the radius is I'm going to take the bulk of the material off and then when I get down to near to the line I'm just going to loosen the vice and adjust this round um, to take a series of cuts around that radius with my tool set in the same position you'll, you'll see it'll all come clear as I progress right I'm down to the line now on the radius I've just took a an horizontal cut to bring me down to that radius and I'm going to just pivot this pivot the job on this um, plug gauge that I made in the, keep it in the centre of my jaws of my vice with the with the uh, spindle of the milling machine on the centre roughly on the centre it's not critical centre of the um, plug gauge which it's rotating on and if you want to get pedantic about this you could use a you could use a protractor and, and go around at so many, de you know, eyeball it up with, with that, we want it faces, and just move it round in so many degrees at a time if you get, want to get pedantic. So I'm going to keep the cutter set at that height, lock it off on the spindle. The cutter's not going to come down anymore, it's ju the job's just going to move round on the bottom of the cutter. And it'll leave a series of steps, in theory, depending on how many degrees at a time you do it. If you do it at very slight, a very slight movement each time, it'll it'll be nearly a, a perfect radius, nearly, not quite. And then I'm just going to finish it off with me, with me draw file it and emery cloth it. Right, so I've gone. I'm just going to move uh, move around a fraction more now, so I'm going to loosen the vice, leave me cutter in the centre of that uh, pivot, and just move it round slightly, knit my vice up, make sure it's down on the jaws of the vice, and then uh, take another cut.
same again move it round fraction Fraction on that few degrees and that'll be it on that side, then I've got to do this other side. You don't want this face to come uh, horizontal, just slightly less than horizontal to vice, or you'll be digging into that face that you've just machined. Right, so that's that side at radius done. I'm going to move over now to the other side. Keep the spin, keep the pivot point in centre at cutter. And come this way. Try that. Same again. Another one or two cuts should do it. I think one more. That's it, and obviously you can feel them steps. It's not going to be a perfect radius, but all I'll do now is uh, Just do a bit of fine finishing on it with a, with a draw file on that radius and then uh, a bit of emery cloth on it and then it'll come out like that one. With a nice finish on. Let me just zoom out a bit. Right then. Uh, so that's me, uh, that's me radius completed and I'll move on to the next part now.